let me show you what happens when microwaves pass through water. So here we've got the LaSalle's microwave transmitter, here we've got the receiver, and we've got the laser reflection tank in the middle. So this thing is firing out microwaves, and then to see if this is receiving them, we just need to increase the sensitivity. So there's a nice strong signal showing that microwaves are getting through this plastic box. So what's going to happen when we fill up this tank with water? Let's have a look. We need more water. I've got more water. It's going to take a few more runs because my flask's too small, but let's crank up the volume and see if we can see any change. So you can hear that that's pretty much gone to zero now. So that's important because it's showing that the water in the tank is absorbing all of that microwave radiation. But what is it doing with it? So we know that water is a polar molecule. It's got a positive side and a negative side. So we call it a dipole. Now, when microwaves interact with dipoles, it causes the dipoles to try and orient themselves in the oscillating electric field of the microwave radiation. And it's that oscillation, it's that interaction that gives rise to the heating of food in microwave ovens. So that is one cool little demo that you can do with the LaSalle's microwave kit. Stay tuned for more.